I say, it does not get much more British than this. Tip tip, cheerio. Hello everyone and welcome to Infinite Realms of the Day. I'm going to be reviewing the one, the only, Onion Jack. <laughs> Union Jack. When I was a little kid, um, I, I can't I can't remember who said it, but I remember this little guy, this little kid I was with, saw um, Union Jack's name and said, oh look, it's Onion Jack. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> Of course, it's Union Jack. Um, Union Jack, of course, from the Invaders. That's how I know Union Jack the best. Um, my understanding is, he, is the mantle's been passed down through several generations. And at one point, didn't he become a vampire hunter or something? I was told that by somebody, and I was like, I've never found anything about it. And I probably should have done some research. But, you know, the cool thing about Union Jack is... It doesn't matter because, you know, you can say this is the 1940s version, the 2000s version. It doesn't matter. That's kind of the cool thing because, you know, Union Jack is not like Captain America or anything like the costume has not changed that much. So there's very little difference. And looking over Union Jack, yeah, looks, uh, I mean, you got to love the design. I mean, it's a Union Jack. It's what it says that it, what it, this says the character is perfect i mean that is absolutely 100 percent correct it's not like there's any false advertising going on and he comes with of course a knife and a gun pretty simple pretty logical pretty easy to deal with you know his articulation is pretty standard of course he has pins but you know it, it, again most of it is in the same color so it's not a big as big a deal as when you have like spider-man <laughs> or something like that you know something along those lines then it becomes a big deal but with this character not so much i mean it's it's okay i'm you know i'm not gonna really freak out about it and you know gotta have pinless on everything um i do think they should be pushing more towards pinless but that's beside the point now, my first acquaintance with uh, Union Jack was in the infamous now uh, What If Number 4, What If the Invasors Had Stayed Together After World War II. And, of course, the story that ended up being so good, they said, well, hell, we'll just make this into an actual story in the Marvel Universe. And they did. And I was like, okay. Uh, weird. You know, not an alternate reality anymore. So, you know, that was my first uh, time I ever saw Union Jack. And then I saw him again a couple of times in the Invaders comics. Um, which, you know, despite some recent reactions to a certain television show on Disney+, Plus, was not a very widely sold book. It wasn't... I mean, people knew about it, but you know, it wasn't like the Avengers or even the X-Men at that point. I mean, it was just kind of like way down the mid lower mid card I mean it didn't last long it got cancelled so for some comparison uh, we'll just put in Kang the Conqueror along with Deadpool yay and for something a little different we'll put in Storm and Doctor Doom so how, what do I give this figure I, I'll give him four and a half stars is a good figure good design pretty cool all around don't see a reason why not to um the only knock i would really give against it is um uh, you know i think maybe it should be a little bit um more up to date but that's okay he's not a character that you know they're gonna make a thousand of or anything and you know if they make another one i'll just have to see what the improvements are i don't think i'll buy it but you never know okay so that will wrap it up for infinite realms today don't forget to like and subscribe